Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to 4 StarCraft 2 Strategy, your number one location for step-by-step -step strategy and tutorial videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Proxy Marauder Rush. Um, now this is a Terran strategy and it's going to be a Terran vs Proton strategy. The players we're going to be taking a look at here on this particular replay are Lucky Fool as the Terran player and the Protoss player is Spaceball. Um, so again, we're looking at the Proxy Marauder Rush, um, but more excitingly, we're actually taking a look at the evolution of the Proxy Reaper Rush. Um, I'm going to go into further detail later on about that, um, but that, it's a very exciting prospect. Um, it's just it's going to show you how the nature of the game changes in StarCraft II um, and why it's kind of important to stay on top of the, the up-to-date strategies to become most effective and most efficient um, in the metagame and trying to win those ladder games or even those tournament games that you're entering. Um, so taking a look here at the build order, we're going to start off just by building SCVs. That first SCV that comes out, we're actually going to send straight to our um, opponent's base or outside of our opponent's base to create our first proxy barracks. Um, and that's going to be going up at 9 supply. Um, now once we get our first 75 minerals, we did go ahead and drop our first refinery. And once that comes up, what we're going to want to do is uh, saturate that with SCVs. And um, once we get our once uh, the barracks is done building, we should have enough Espion to go ahead and create our tech lab on that. Um, now with the tech lab up, we're going to start pumping out Marauders. We're also going to start uh, researching that concussive shell upgrade. Um, so that's basically how we're going to start things off here. You want to make sure, of course, you get those supply depots so you don't stay supply blocked. Um, so you can, of course, create additional SCVs and Marauders. Um, but I'm going to go more into what I noted earlier, which was how this is kind of the evolution of the uh, the proxy reaper rush, and you may be a little confused as to that, um, but I'm going to explain to it right now for this very situation here. Now as you can see, our Protoss player is moving into our base, and what they are seeing right now, um, this scenario, uh, just a, a handful, not very many SCVs mining from the mineral patch, uh, one refinery, and some SCVs gathering from that refinery, and more notably, no production buildings anywhere in our base. This situation, in a Protoss player's eyes, um, is very reminiscent of what they would be seeing if we were going for a proxy Reaper Rush. Um, so basically, the Protoss player is in the position where they're assuming that that's what's happening. Um, in fact, if you take a look in their base, they're going for a proper response to a proxy Reaper Rush. They went ahead and got that fast cybernetics core, um, and then they're also going to be making a stalker the second it comes out, because that is a proper response to a Reaper Rush, getting that fast stalker. Stalkers are very strong against Reapers. Um, they're very good at thwarting them and keeping them out of their uh, Protoss player's base. Um, now, in our position, knowing that they're going to be going for that that fast stalker, well, what's strong against stalkers? Well, that would be the Marauder. Marauder is very strong versus the stalker. Um, and so in knowing that they're going to be going for that response to the Reaper, we're going to go ahead and switch things up, get that Marauder, which is going to, again, again, be strong versus the stalker, and that's going to put us in the most advantageous position. Uh, that's going to put our opponent in in a position where they're not going to be properly prepared for because again they were expecting one thing um, and we went for another um, and again this is exciting because this this specific example shows you how the game evolves over time how as players learn strategies in the game um, as uh, again as Protoss players learn how the bunker um, uh, Reaper bunker rush works um, and they learn how to counter it it becomes less effective um, now again had we moved in with that Reaper it wouldn't have been as effective because the stalker basically would have pushed the Reaper right out um, and that we probably weren't going to be able to get up our bunker in their base. Um, but again, since we went for those Marauders, we've done significant damage. I mean, it may not look like a lot. You might say, well, he still has a lot of his probes. Well, yes, but he this entire time, for the past maybe 30 seconds, he's been forced to pull his probes off of the mineral line just to deal with these Marauders because that one Stalker was not going to be enough. Um, that sends it back tremendously in economy. He's a uh, hurting very badly in economy right now and as you can see back at our base we've been pumping our SCVs um, we're preparing for the mid game here or for the early to mid game by uh, getting this additional barracks as defense um, by being able to produce more units just in case this push doesn't work and he goes for that counter attack that's likely to come we're going to be able to create more units inside of our base 
Um, but I mean, as you can see, we're just we're, we basically have free reign of his base right now. There's really not much he can do because he was expecting Reapers. He went for the response to Reapers, and we went for Marauders. So now he's like, okay, well, what do I do now? I'm kind of screwed. The only thing he can do basically is pull those probes off the line um, and try to come out with more stalkers. Coming out with Marines is going to do jack squat for him because I mean, coming out with a uh, sorry Zealots is going to do jack squat for him because these Marauders can just kite him all day with those concussive shells. Um, so he's kind of forced to keep making stalkers. And again, even those stalkers, it's not going to be enough for some Marauders. And uh, there you go. It's just too much for him to handle. It's pretty much going to be game over right here. He doesn't even have enough minerals to create an additional stalker. So he goes ahead and calls good game. Um, so again, guys, I mean, this has been the, the proxy Marauder rush, but I mean, more importantly, I'll, I'll say it again, uh, this is exciting because it shows the evolution of the game. It shows how the game's going to change over time, and this is how it's always going to be throughout the lifetime of StarCraft II. Um, in the multiplayer, sh strategies will become prevalent, st effective strategies that people learn, um, like, you know, effective strategies versus Zerg that Terran players learn are going to be effective only for so long. As players learn to counter them, we have to change those strategies and evolve those strategies to become effective again. And that's exactly what you're seeing here. This proxy barracks marauder rush is the evolution of the proxy barracks reaper rush. Uh, so again, guys, this has been for StarCraft II strategy, your number one location for step-by-step -step strategy and tutorial videos. If you guys like our videos, you like what we're doing here, uh, please do go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Keep watching and keep owning, guys.